okay now at the input side at the event we want to analyze what is the effect of re in the input side you have to make the output zero you have to remove the output or you should not give any uh, the output side should be uh, removed so output side if you are removing means i am removing rc2 if i am removing the presence of a resistor so removing rc2 what happens there will be no emitter current as such from the transistor because of this power dc power supply because the connection is opened out whatever current flowing through r dash will flow through re because the actual emitter current coming out of the transistor is going to be zero so whatever current flowing through r dash will flow through re so i can say r dash and re are going to be in series at the input side see here so this is the exact logic you should understand because based on this only we will uh, proceed further with the simplification of the circuit and then do the other uh, things and see here it is a current shunt so output side i am measuring current input side shunt what gets added in shunt so you know current gets added in shunt so input side you have to represent using current source parallel to your resistance is parallel to rs so the second term in your feedback will indicate what type of input source you have to use if you get the term shunt please remember you have to use current source parallel to the source resistance rs if you get series in the uh, second term you have to use voltage source in series with your rs okay so in the input side you can see the resistance r dash will be in series with re with the base of q1 and i am considering r dash in series with re parallel to rs is going to be considered to be a resistance capital r because all these are constants right so i can club them so all these three resistances with their appropriate connections r dash plus re parallel to rs is going to be combined to capital r okay now if i want to see what is going to happen at the output side you know the current is going to split so re and r dash are going to be in parallel and whatever current flowing through r dash is your feedback current if and see the current how it is flowing it is flowing in the opposite direction as like your emitter current and input side i have to represent my not on circuit because i have this term shunt in my feedback amplifier terminology and uh, uh, see the total current is i not and i want to measure if so definitely you have to apply current division so if equal to total current i not into opposite resistance is re divided by r dash plus re so this if equal to beta into re so beta is going to be re by r dash plus re so if r dash is not there if r dash equal to 0 then beta will be equal to 1 Hundred percent feedback happens. So since the feedback current is proportional to the output current, this is a perfect example of current shunt feedback amplifier.